In this video, I'll show you how to create a really nice sketch effect using Affinity Photo. Also, if you look in the YouTube video description, you'll find a link to a macro that you can download and it should make the job much easier. In fact, it will allow you to create the effect with a single click. If you enjoyed this video or found it useful, then why not give it a like? And while you're there, subscribe. Let's create a new file, file new. Pick any size, it really doesn't matter, as we will be clipping to the canvas in a moment. To get our base image for this effect, we'll use the stock tab. Select the stock panel here. The stock panel's a great feature, we may as well use it. I'm going to type smile into the search box and press enter. And let's have a quick scroll through. Ah, here's one of my favourites, I think. I'll use that one. Grab it and drag it onto the canvas. We now have the image on the canvas, but as you can see, it's larger than the canvas. But we can easily fix this. All we have to do to make the document or canvas fit the image is to go to Document and Clip Canvas. And now the canvas is the same size as the downloaded image. OK, let's set up the cartoon effect with this great image. Open the Layers panel, and the first thing we want to do is to add a black and white adjustment. Adjustments, black and white. Now we have our black and white panel, let's just move it down onto the image to make it a child of the image, mainly for tidiness. We won't be using these black and white controls yet, so we can just hide them for now. We will be coming back to them later. Next, we right click on the image layer and select Merge Visible. Merge Visible creates a new layer which is a composite of everything that is visible, all the layers that are visible. It creates the new layer just above the layer you right clicked. So now this layer contains a copy of the image with the black and white adjustment applied. We will use this new merge layer to create the sketch effect. And the first operation will be to invert the layer. Go to Layer and Invert. And then here in the Blend Modes drop down, all we have to do is switch the Blend Mode from Normal to Color Dodge. Changing the Blend Mode has made our image very pale and almost invisible. But in the next stage, we will add one filter that will transform the image into a sketch. And that filter is Live Filters and Gaussian Blur. Set Preserve Alpha so it blurs the edges. And bring up the radius. And as you can see, as we change the value of the radius, we get different levels of sketch effect. Just play with it until you get the effect you like. I think for me, about there. I like that. That looks really good. Now to go back to the black and white filter. If we double click to enable it, we can now make changes to the base color, which will affect the black and white image and the sketch. For instance, if we bring down the red, we bring in more of the skin tone, and we can bring up the yellow to separate the skin tones a little. If we bring down the green, like so, then it enhances the foliage a little more, darkens it. Here in the hat, very nice. And if we have a look at the flowers, I think they're magenta. We can play with the magenta to change the nature of the flowers in the sketch. Very nice. Though I think, let's have a look, about there's fine. With the black and white adjustment, you can make little changes to the tones to enhance the final sketch effect. Okay, we're done with that. Now at the moment, the image is looking a little washed out and pale. So with the top layer selected, like so, I'll go down to adjustments and levels. With the levels, I just like to make the image a little more defined. I'll try to darken the midtones with the gamma, 
like so, and that's made it slightly less pale. Next, bring up the blacks, I think about there. And now the image is less pale and more defined. Let's have a look. There we go. Her face doesn't look so washed out. I think what would enhance this image would be if she was on some sort of paper background. All we have to do is go over to our old friend stock and in the search type in paper. And there we have a whole array of images relating to paper. I think I like the look of this one. Grab and drag. And there it is. But obviously it's not the right size. So select our move tool. Zoom out. And rotate the frame whilst holding shift so it snaps into position like so. And then just move it to centre it on the canvas. And finally, adjust the handles to trim it to size. There we go. That looks pretty good to me. Actually, that's really nice paper. I'll get rid of the frame by just switching back to the view tool. Back to the layers panel. And with our paper image layer selected, change the blend mode to multiply. Lovely. That looks great but I think we have a little line on the side there, so we'll just get our move tool and tweak that. There we go. Now, adding the texture has definitely enhanced the image, but it's made it a little on the pale side. Again, a little bit dull. The way to fix this is to use another levels adjustment. Bring up the whites by bringing down the white slider and Bring down the blacks by bringing up the black slider. Let's take a quick look at the gamma. A little tweak. No, I think the gamma's fine. Absolutely brilliant. I think that looks pretty good. It's a really nice simple effect. Now, if we want to change the effect a little bit, it's really good fun to go into the Gaussian blur, open it up. Different radius values give you different sketch effects which is handy because you may want the sketch effect to look slightly different depending on the background. Absolutely beautiful. Let's quickly install and use the macro. To install the macro, the macro panel must be open. From the main menu, select View and Studio and Macro. Hit the Import button here. Navigate to your download directory and double click on sketch.af macro. Once the macro is installed, which it has here, we want to move the macro to the library for future use. Hit the add to library icon. Then name your macro, whatever you like. And then hit OK. Up pops the library panel. And there should be your macro. To use the macro is a doddle. On the Layers panel, make sure your image layer is selected and select your macro. And as you can see, right away, the sketch macro has run and we have a nice sketch effect. Again, I'd just like to define it a little more. It's looking a bit washed out. Select the group, adjustments and levels. Bring up the black slider and the gamma. I think that's looking pretty Good, that's much more defined. So let's take a look at the blur, just to tweak the effect so it's correct for this image. That's better. I don't think this one needs a background, so we are done. Nice.